Nepal is at a mythical crossroads on the salt and silk routes, huddled between China and India. Famed for its mountains, Nepal is home to most of the world's highest peaks, including Everest. Buddha was born in this sacred land, rife with contradictions. In the image of its god Shiva, at once creator and destroyer, Nepal is as shocking as it is seductive. Nepal's decade-long civil war between government forces and Maoist insurgents left 13,000 dead and thousands more displaced from their homes. Both sides were accused of human rights abuses during the long-running civil war. Women and children were targeted for assault, typically of a sexual nature, which often ended in their death. Although the war is now over, sexual violence continues in post-conflict Nepal, as the women we met attest. 41-year-old Divya lives in a mud house in Charikot, 150 kilometers outside Kathmandu in northeastern Nepal, where she struggles to survive raising small livestock. She grows mushrooms to earn a little extra income to help support her two teenage sons. Divya was married at 19, but her dream of starting a new life in a comfortable home quickly turned into a nightmare of suffering. A year into her marriage, her first child died soon after birth. Her husband found work in India as a goldsmith, while Divya stayed behind in Nepal and faced the tyranny of abuse from her in-laws. Despite the birth of a son, the situation only got worse. Her husband married two other women in India and brought his third wife back to Nepal. After that, Divya endured daily beatings from her husband and harsh rejection from his family. Everything changed when he brought his new wife back from India. He started beating me and beating our son. I had to work like a slave for the whole family, and they hardly left us anything to eat, only the scraps after meals. He hit us, my son and me, every day, on the head, on the shoulders, and in between the legs. One day, I remember, he hit me with a long stick, and he hit me so hard that I was in agony for three months every time I passed water. Public Health Concern Trust, or FECT Nepal, is a non-governmental organization that combats sexual violence and works with local communities to track and assist victims of physical and sexual abuse. Women like Divya find support and recovery services through this NGO and a chance to rebuild their lives. These women struggle to speak openly about the violence they have endured. Identifying victims of sexual violence in order to provide them both physical and psychological support services is essential to FEC's mission. From Dolaka, we traveled through a rough mountainous region to Suspas Namawati to meet Preti, another survivor of sexual abuse. We trekked for nearly two hours to reach the remote village where she lives. Preti's mother, Melwa, came to meet us for the final part of our trek. Preti is the second of four daughters in this family from the low-level Tami caste. 